Hi guys, a typical Tory approach to issues is to promise and not deliver, hoping that the public will be distracted by something else. There are numerous examples of this, such as Boris Johnson's 40 new hospitals, or the more recent plans to provide free childcare to more and more families. The Education Secretary Gillian Keegan was pushed on this pledge when she appeared on The Trevor Phillips Show, and she couldn't guarantee that it would actually succeed. Spoiler, it won't, and it isn't designed to. Instead, she started asking about the Labour Party. Have a listen to this. And then we cr- increase the hours, and we do forgive, that over a period second. of time. Forgive me, Secretary of State, uh, for interrupting you. I don't mean to be rude. but Well, you, do, you are interrupting me quite a lot, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't well, know why. Uh, but I'd, I'd like you to answer the question I asked you, because yes. I'll tell, tell you why I'm asking this. Mm-hmm. Maybe what you're hearing is uh, the grandparent, which is what I am, yeah. who thinks that the government has said that it will provide this kind of these places for my grandchild and i think that there will be loads of grandparents and even more parents who are under the illusion that when the government says we are going to do this it's a promise now i understand what you're saying now it's you're confident it will be delivered but what you're also telling me is don't be absolutely certain that it will be delivered. Now, you go uh, about you go about with the confidence that this Conservative government has got your back. We're trying to deliver this. We are very... What, what do you mean trying? <laughs> trying to deliver. Very confident we'll deliver it. By the way, it is something that there is no plan for the opposition. They haven't even said what they'll do um, if they get into government. So, OK, so the problem here is that the Tories are making promises that they can't keep, that they have no intention of keeping. We saw it with the 40 new hospitals. We saw it. There are numerous examples. What they do is they say, we're going to achieve X, but they have no plan to, to achieve X. They're just hoping that it will uh, win over some support and then the people who have been won over will forget about it. <laughs> I think this is the plan. This is how they operate. Like, how can the Labour Party be expected to say, OK, we're going to put this amount of funding into uh, child care into free places or whatever if they're not in government like at least let them get into government and then we can see okay uh what they can achieve but you are already in government like they keep talking about well the labor party don't have a plan okay but you're in government now what is, what are you actually achieving you're not achieving anything because it, as i said the plan is not designed to work it's just to distract it's to convince people that you're doing something it's all a facade. It's all a scam. The, the, per, the perfect example was the 40 new hospitals. Some hospitals were being built, some hospitals were being renovated, and some hospitals just didn't exist because there was no real plan. Nobody sat down and said, okay, we have this plan to build 40 new hospitals. How much, uh, how much money do we need? How much time do we need? What are the resources necessary? What is the bureaucratic problem with this? No, there was no plan. It was just something that Boris Johnson extracted from his behind. And the same again when it comes to uh, child places in in childcare. There is no plan. We just distract the public by saying, yeah, we're actually going to achieve this. The, the, The providers themselves have said, we don't have the staff. We don't have the availability. So we can't achieve this. So reality conflicts with Tory policies and I think the public are starting to cop on the public are starting to realize look these people keep promising things but they don't actually deliver anything the the prime minister himself with his stop the boats or have inflation or grow the economy they sound good on paper they sound good probably in some focus group But when they conflict with reality, it shows that you're nothing but charlatans and liars. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.